Okay, now go to communication. One, two, three, four, five. Second communication setup. Select. Go down. This one your IP address. This one your subnet. Later we key in in the laptop or PC. So this one default gateway. Okay. Okay. Now we go to setting. Uh, first we go to setting your network and sharing center. So go to your internet access. Internet access. Okay, go to property. Now you go to internet protocol version 4. Double click. And then you need to use this following IP address. Use this follow as per recorder. Okay. Uh, sorry, not follow the same as uh, the back of the digit number we uh, we add on. Okay, one nine two one six eight one. So I key in here is four. Okay, do this one is number two. Okay. Now I key in the subnet mask. Two five five. Okay, then your default gateway. One nine two. One six eight. Point one and point one. Okay, this one follow your recorder. Okay, next you click OK. Then finish it. Then you open the DAQ master. You go to supported device list and you select process automation. And then you click KRN100. Now we use as a TC IP cable okay connection so we click okay now this this is this uh, your IP address connection okay now I to key in My two point one six eight one. Okay, you uh one nine two point one six eight point one, and then dot number two. Okay, you need to press enter. Make sure you press enter. The socket type is client. Okay, you press enter, press enter, make sure you press enter. Okay, so the number is 192.168.1.2. Okay, okay, now you go to Modbus Master, you click here, before that, you click there. Okay, Modbus Master, you click, so you change it. The mode RTU to Modbus TCP. You use as a Modbus TCP. Done. Just change. And then next, you just press connect. So the device is connected.
Okay, next. Uh, okay, example. Okay, this one. Go to runtime screen. You choose example. I choose a line graph. Okay, double click there. Okay, this one is your drag. Drag. You need to drag down this side. So I choose. Okay, before that, I need to. Okay, now you click here. Okay, click. Uh oh. You do right click. You need to scan unit address. So this one you check. Address number one. And you start to scan. You click in this. Okay, get okay, hundred. Uh, mission software and then you click OK so now it pop up here connected and then you right click right click please read all parameter so from recorder there the parameter will pop up here all parameter from recorder is pop up here under property the device name unit name uh, everything from here Okay, now next, you choose the IO list. Okay, click here IO list or pull there, and then this one K100. Okay, you drag. Okay, this one. So on all the channel one and PV your present value, so I export this. Make sure you need to find out all from here. So on your channel, and then we we'll pop up here. Yeah. Okay, channel one PV. Okay, so you double you click just one time click. Okay, now you just drag this channel one PV. Make sure this one not running. Okay, you drag here. Okay. Okay, now this is your channel one present value. So I will run. So data will pop up here. Num five. Okay. Look the time. Twelve thirty nine. So that is five. Uh, so this one the graph. Okay, you can drag. Not here, or you can go. Okay. Now. I just logging. It start logging now, and then uh, you can go to this this default. You can go to the tools. As your layout. Okay, runtime. I mean full version, full pop up. Okay. Okay, full. So again, you need to go to back to runtime default. Okay. okay currently, it uh, okay. You go back again. You go to project there. Click project, and then you start to record. If fifty six second, almost one minute. 
Okay, then okay, I stop it. View lock. Okay, now. Okay, now this is the data. So I choose as a grid. Click grid. This one is a data analysis. I choose grid. You can choose either graph or alarm grid. So I choose hour, minute, second. You can choose either one. Up to you. So now, this one, your ch channel will present value. You just drag here. Now, this is your data almost uh, 56 sec uh, 57 seconds. I'll record it here. Now, you go up until you saw okay you need to drag here so okay drag here you can save as csv file okay i choose uh, so i put here Okay, RN100 record file. Okay, now you can go. You can close this. There is still running. This one still running a record. So I go to. Okay, RN100. So this one your CSV file. Okay, this one your okay, and then CSV file. Twelve four four minute up to twelve five minute. Okay. Thank you.